Buffalo Fanatics, what's going on? Video of the day time. We're going to talk about the AFC East and how the AFC East has quietly, quietly become a quarterback driven division. Now, as everybody knows, draft night, Arizona Cardinals on the clock, number one pick. Are they going to take Kyler Murray? What are they doing with Josh Rosen? Well, they took Kyler Murray. Writing was on the wall. So everybody's waiting, wondering, you know, what are they going to do with, with Josh Rosen? Are they going to keep both of them? Like, like, what are they doing? Then all of a sudden, they trade him to the Miami Dolphins for a second-round pick. So absolute, absolute steal, I think, for uh, the Miami Dolphins. You know, you get a guy with protection – you keep him upright, I feel like Josh Rosen is going to be an extremely, extremely effective quarterback. He can make every throw. He can make the throws down the field. He can make the back shoulder throws. He can make the throws, uh, the timing routes. He, he can hit everything, sideline routes. He can do it all. So point of this video is the AFC East now has – the number three overall pick in Sam Darnold with the New York Jets from last year. The number seven overall pick from the 2018 draft in Josh Allen with the Bills. And the Miami Dolphins now have the 10th overall pick from the 2018 draft in Josh Rosen. So three of the core four, if you will, the top four quarterbacks selected in the last year's draft now reside in the AFC East. So... I think this will make for extremely, extremely, extremely interesting divisional play. And I think it'll be fun to watch. If you guys remember back, you know, late 80s, early 90s, mid 90s, you know, Jim Kelly versus Dan Marino was something to watch. You know, back then, New England, the Jets didn't have that, you know, franchise quarterback at the time. But the Dan Marino and, and Jim Kelly games are something to watch. I mean, if you go back and watch highlights of some of those games, I mean, there were absolute shootouts that were just fun to watch. So going forward, I think if Josh Rosen, if they can keep him upright and the Dolphins figure out a way to, to build that offensive line around him and give him some weapons, I think Josh Rosen will be extremely, extremely, extremely good in this league. Sam Darnold, I believe also they keep him upright you know, they they work on his pocket presence a little bit better and he, he kind of figures out the turnover thing. I think he will be extremely, extremely effective in this league for a long time. And then you have Josh Allen. And Josh Allen, I believe he can be the franchise quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. It's going to take a little bit longer, I think, than, than these other two. But I think ultimately, once Josh Allen figures out his game and how to play his game, I think Josh Allen could be the best of all three of them. But... You know, twice a year you got you got Josh Allen versus Sam Darnold. Twice a year you got Sam Darnold versus Josh Rosen. Twice a year you got Josh Allen versus jo Josh Rosen. So extremely fun to watch. I think that the AFC East is going to be set up for years to come, and it's going to be extremely fun to watch. Now, my second point of this, this video is how both – the 2018 and the 2019 draft were kind of, they mirrored each other. Okay, now the Dolphins didn't draft Josh Rosen, but they ultimately landed Josh Rosen, right? So all three teams have found a young quarterback from the 2018 draft that can be the franchise quarterback if the right pieces are in place and the progression's there. This year, the Bills, the Dolphins, and the Jets all drafted defensive tackles. So that leads me to believe that these teams, these three teams are finally realizing that, hey, okay, so we have our, our potential franchise quarterback, the guy that we believe in. We've invested a lot in these guys. So now we need to look for the next Aaron Donald. You know, we need to look for the, the next Indomitian Sioux, um, Gerald McCoy, what have you. So the Bills draft at Oliver, right? The Jets draft Quinn and Williams, and the Dolphins draft Christian Wilkins. Now, say what you will about each guy, um, about how they're different but the same in, in certain aspects. It's just, it's extremely, extremely um, provocative that all three teams picked a defensive tackle in the first round. You know, say what you will about Clemson players, but Christian Wilkins is, is extremely athletic. Say what you will about Quinn and Williams being a one-year wonder. 
um, and say what you will about you know Ed Oliver's arms are too short or whatever. All three of these guys are going to make an immediate impact on these teams, and I'm just glad the Bills signed Mitch Morse because he's going to have to go up against these guys four times a year, and it's going to be nothing but fun to watch. So let me know what you guys think about that. I just thought that it was – I don't know if it was a coincidence. Um, I don't know if all three teams are using the same philosophies going going forward, um, getting the franchise quarterbacks. Now they have – you know the the potential franchise defensive tackles so let me know what you guys think in the comments drop those below again hit that notification bell like this video and subscribe to the buffalo fanatics youtube channel as always i'm dm3 and i'll see you on the next one